Hi everybody, my name is Henry Li from BlueHeronArts.com. Now I'm going to introduce you a new brush. It's a soft wash brush. Um, it comes with a short and a, a fat body. Uh, you can see if you compare with a long, long hair, goat hair brush, is, this one is very short, yet uh, with a very fat body. Um, when you paint, especially when you use the side stroke, use the, the side of the brush, uh, it gives you more power compared to the long hair version. Uh, the middle part, what I call the waist of the brush, is uh, too soft for beginners. So uh, with this shape, uh, it solved that uh, weakness. Um, but uh, this one has more uh, range of gradation, so it has its own use. Uh, but for some people, they will like this one. And when you paint in vertical position uh, like this, it gives you a very solid tip-centered line, uh, especially good for calligrapher. So it's a, basically a good um, calligraphy brush, also a paint brush. I'm going to do a demo with uh, this brush next. Okay, now I have this brush already been used. Uh, so I soak the brush in water first, then I uh, load in different uh, tones of uh, ink. So first load the brush with uh, uh, some light, very light ink then uh, some medium dark ink. And then finally, uh, some dark ink to the front, to the tip of the brush. Okay, now watch this. You can use the tip and the heel in one stroke. So you got a gradation, right? You can repeat that. I'm doing a grape leaf. The leaf comes in uh, five strokes if it's a front view, but usually I only do three uh, major ones. The minor one could be omitted. Um, the, let me do another one. You can do a side view facing up and reload the brush with a little bit of water. But this time I'm going to uh, add some dark strokes to this side view, just to create contrast. Okay, I'm going to um, do the veins on the leaves now with a different brush. Uh, it's called a sable, a black sable brush. You can wait a little while till the water gets a little evaporated, you know, not to do it right away, but not wait for too long so you will be too stiff. You can use a dry uh, dry brush, thirsty brush, to do it on a wet base color. So the secondary veins, it's uh, more dense to the tip part and the sparse. 
So this part uh, is only water, right? Uh, we still can paint veins on it, indicate like a uh, light uh, uh, with this, the shady part. The paper I'm using is a single ply shrine paper. It's a kind of uh, absorbent, uh, very absorbent uh, rice paper. I'm going to add another group. They should be painting outside the frame. And we need to decide uh, at the beginning where the vine uh, comes from, from left or, or right. Uh, let me just, uh, I'll just do this way. So I will add another leaf. Maybe a little more. So until the brush exhausted, so you'll have the dry and the wet strokes on the same uh, painting, A variation of uh, different uh, strokes. Now I'm going to uh, draw the vein, I'm sorry, the vine of uh, the grape with a, a beiger hair brush. It's a stiff hair brush. It's a stiff hair brush with a long bristle. Because the hair, uh, beiger hair is very stiff, so you can uh, create a bristle look. You see the rough strokes. When I do uh, the veins, I have to think of uh, a major vine. I need to uh, create a major branch. Um, we call it the host branch. And then the second uh, will be the guest branch. The host branch comes first. Uh, let me do right here. It goes up and then comes in. Vary the uh, directions because this wine plan can you know, um, be very flexible. This brush can create all the uh, turns and curves with the kind of texture. Now the second second one usually helped the first but it's in slightly different uh, angle. And it will climb on, on the first one. But end slightly uh, different, maybe this. Consider that as in some part more dense with the, the loops. Okay, let me do the tendril. The third, if you have uh, the third branch of uh, the vine, can be in um, a different uh, a turn of the direction sometimes uh, <coughs> to break the movement. Uh, you know, from right to left, you can have one uh, maybe coming down this way or um, towards this direction.
Okay. Now uh, add more leaves. Or you can do the fruit, the, the grape. Um, You can use leaves to cover some weak part to make uh, some uh, not so good strokes hidden or to help the good strokes to, uh, con to adjust the composition. So remember to paint the, the, sh the shape of the group is more important than individual leaves. Now I'm going to define the leaves again with uh, this uh, sable brush. You can add a little uh, peach sap glue powder to the water to make the ink uh, thicker so you won't, you will not blur that much, if you will. You, uh, I always hold the brush higher in, uh, so you can see and move freely. Without, you know, you, if, instead of this, you hold the brush away from the desk or the, uh, the paper. Well, I got that. Okay, now here. Now I'm going to do the grape. I'm just going to use uh, this color. Okay, I'm making some uh, green color to do the grape in green. I mix some mineral, mineral green, uh, the light shade with the yellow to create the green first. So I have a light green tone here. And then I will um, make a darker green with the, the first uh, grade mineral green. The, we have uh, three grades, the dark, from dark to light mineral greens. And I use the dark one to make another tone here. I'm using this uh, short, hair, short hair goat wash brush, gold, short gold hair wash brush. Now the trick is just dip, uh, after you get the green, you dip a little bit water, it, dip the tip in the water, so you have a light to dark gradation. So I have a green color loaded on the full brush. It's Actually, the dark green is near the heel of the brush. And then I, I 
uh, touch a little bit, touch the tip in the water, just a, a tiny bit of water. So I have a uh, light tip. See? So the tip is lighter. I used the lower part uh, to paint. So pay more attention to the whole uh, shape, the cluster, instead of the individual fruit. And then leave some uh, room in the center of the cluster. <coughs> So I don't do the highlight with the white. I leave the white if I want the highlight in the fruit. So we should have a major cluster, a, a secondary, a uh, smaller cluster, and some other minor clusters.
this is a young cluster, you might call it. So it's a smaller. Okay, now I connect the fruit to the tree with the stem. Use a gray ink. I got some uh, brown gray color. I mix a little ink with a uh, brown. The pure brown would be too bright, so we want to uh, make it uh, a little gray. So avoid smearing if it's too wet. You can do it later. Okay, now I dot the fruit, the end of each fruit with a little dot. Not too big, just keep it small. You have to do this before it gets too dry. And uh, finally, the sign and the seal. Let's see where to sign. Um, you can use the signature and the title calligraphy to adjust the composition. Uh, like for example, I want to put uh, some more things here. I use uh, calligraphy instead of putting the tendrils or the uh, leaves. So I just write the date. The year of tiger and my signature. Painted uh, in the year of tiger. Then I put uh, my stem a red stem. It says a uh, half hundred. It's the a chalk I made for my 50th birthday last year. So that completes the whole painting. I hope you had a good time and uh, enjoy painting yourself. Enjoy grape painting yourself. It's very loose and uh, free to paint grapes. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.